Ba -na 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 -na. Hey, welcome to Stump the Idiot. I am the huge one, aka the idiot Dave Coco from CocoSports.com and ProWrestling.me. Sign up for ProWrestling.me today as we're trying to build a pro rest atmosphere, um, social, I was about to say social security, social network, and um, hopefully we can get it where it's nothing but pro wrestling fans and all that fun stuff. All right, um, I'm waiting to find an, uh, this week's Lucha Underground, so hopefully I can review it. Um, and I figured I'd do a stump the idiot. Someone tagged me. American Alucard tagged me on this one. And um, basically, I'm going to read it. It's from TNA Memes. It's a Facebook page. Um, so it says, some ask, hey, where are the TNA originals? Well, I ask, hey, where are WWE's ROH or even New Japan's uh, originals? Uh, some guy named BCB. And I normally would ignore this, but then... American Alicard's like, please, someone answer, where are they? Blah, 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 And I, I love American Alicard, but Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Um, I don't actually give a fuck about TNA right now because, to me, it's dead. And I'm a huge fucking TNA fan. But the difference between me is, me and him is you're a TNA defender. First off, where are the ROH, WWE, New Japan originals? <sighs> Easily. Like, just fucking look it up. Find out where they came up from. Like, how is this crazy? Uh, Nakamura would be a New Japan original. A WWE original would be someone that they came up through their system. Um, let's see. I would say Kurt Angle um, is a WWE original. I would probably say the Hardys. Um, you know, Dolph Ziggler. Undertaker. You know, and the granted, Undertaker's a bit of a stretch because he had other shit. But originals is, first off, it depends. Just do, let's define originals. Okay? Let's break it down. Some people see it as the people that originally started a company, and some people see it as someone that went through, you know, through the company and onto bigger things, to stepping stones. And originals isn't supposed to be an insult. It's not. It's supposed to be a compliment. It's supposed to be a thing that people have honor with. You know, ECW originals. That means you were an ECW on the climb up. TNA originals are you were with TNA on the climb up. Um, you know, New Japan originals. Now, in New Japan, it's a little different because dojos mean so much. But people all the time in, in Japanese pro rest bars talk about what class is the best, what originals came up. And ROH originals were just who broke onto the scene, who helped build ROH, and, you know, who, who became a bigger star, like a CM Punk, uh, AJ Styles, uh, you know what I mean? So, first off, Originals is like a compliment. I know TNA fans, you blindly defend fucking anything that TNA does, but saying, hey, where are the TNA originals? That's something a TNA fan would ask. Not a TNA defender, and there's a huge difference. And here's the thing. Originals is a compliment. When someone says you're an ECW original, that means you help build ECW. When you say you're a New Japan original, that means there. A WWE, when you're original, that means you read it through their system. It means that's where you were discovered. It's, it's just because people said, hey, where are TNA originals? Isn't a knock on TNA. But you're not a TNA fan. You just hate WWE. And, and I'll, go, I'll go on. I'll go on. This week... DDT, it's a Japan promotion. Abushi cried his fucking eyes out because he loved it and missed it, and there was pride. There was honor. In New Japan, DDT, Ring of Honor, there is pride in coming from there. It's an honor to be considered that. At TNA, TNA fans don't see it as an honor. Oh, well, if I can, you know, hey, if I can, we're still better than WWE, we're still that. And that's what you're missing. That's why I don't think you're fans. I think you hate WWE more than you like TNA. And that's it. Um, being an original is a good thing. You know, where are TNA originals means, A, you know, hey, some people might be busting your balls, but B, some of them might be TNA fans. I, you know, I challenge anyone to a TNA trivia contest from when it began. You know, there's so many pro TNA fans, and not that, but being a fan means being hurt. Not blindly defending a fucking product. If the product sucks, you speak up. If fucking you lose an original, it's emotional. Kenta leaving Noah. Ibushi leaving DDT. Nakamura leaving New Japan. The Dudleys leaving ECW. These are fucking emotional moments. Because they're fans. 
defenders only fucking look for the next, oh, well, we fucking can move on, we can move on. You're not company employees. As a fan, you should fucking hurt. You should get emotional. You should be attached to them. Being an original, asking where are the TNA originals, as like, that's an insult? That's what the fuck you... This is the problem. Ring of Honor. New Japan. DDT. The original ECW. They have honor. They have pride. They have fans. Something all TNA lacks. All of it. And not only that, but let's let's go, because all you're going to give a fuck about is WWE, because TNA people are like, Oh, I like the alternatives, but I'm way too lazy to check anything else out. TNA is the greatest. TNA fans are like fucking Boston Red Sox fans. They are annoying as fuck. Uh, the big Yankees have all the money. Oh, everyone else, you know, they don't have enough money to compete with us. Alright, it's a second place fucking crybaby bullshit with no fucking fan base just blindly defending fucking anything. Thing. Like, what's wrong with being a fan and being upset with the product you fucking love? You don't have to blindly defend it. As a matter of fact, blindly defending it is why TNA fucking sucks. Fans like American Alex... I'm not even going to say fans. That's a, I apologize to the word fans. Defenders like American Alucard. It doesn't matter. It's always going to be good to him. He doesn't fucking feel the pain. He just blindly defends a product. For the love of God, at least get paid. At least get paid for blindly defending a product. And then, you know, it's crazy because, like, I, I, I'm a T, I'm a, re I guess, retired TNA fan. I just, I don't like talking about TNA because I don't like bashing the fan base. And that's pretty much all I have left to talk about about TNA. That's it. I mean, I got nothing else. The fans, that's an insult to the word fans. The defenders are fucking ridiculous. Are absolutely fucking ridiculous. Lose, like, losing Bobby Roode and Eric Young should be a sad fucking day. But you don't. You blindly defend that corporation. The same corporation that Dixie Carter is like, Oh, well, I don't know where else to get talent but WWE. I paraphrase that, that but it's just crazy. Have some fucking fandom. Don't be such a loyal bitch, bro. Have some fucking fandom. Fa fans fucking hurt. Hard times, you know? I'm a Rays fan. Uh, fucking, you know how many goddamn all-star pitchers are in the major leagues that work through the fucking... They... I don't know, dude. I, I just don't understand fans that can't fucking just admit that there's a problem. A fans that can't fucking admit that, hey, dude, that's fucked up. It's a bad situation. You know, it's funny, because, like, I always want to tell, ask these people, like, oh, can you imagine that there's a great storyline, everyone's behind, and in four days, they just gave it to another guy from another company, and then he gave it up on YouTube, and then they had a tournament, and then they never, like, that's bad, that's bad, it ain't fucking way you spin, I don't give a fuck if happened to New Japan, Ring of Honor, WWE, it doesn't fucking matter, it's bad! But no, you blindly defend, you blindly defend, well, just fucking like anything, and just... I, I don't fucking get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't at all. Where are the TNA originals? Like, it's a bad thing. Where are the WWE originals? Are which? Well, if it's, you know, who started the company, a lot of those companies are old. I mean, Anoki's retired. WWE, or WWF. How many fucking W's were in it in the beginning? Fucking, they're probably all dead. <laughs> ROH is getting up there in age. So, like, yeah, if you're going with, you know, who started the company, yeah, a lot of them are passed away or moved on. But if you're like, oh, who came through the company? No. New Japan fans are fucking scared, nervous, sad, rooting, all emotional. Not a defender, emotion. Fans. About how good or bad Nakamura is going to do in WWE. But you don't do that. They fucking leave and you're like, oh, wow, well, we didn't need him anyway. We got Matt Hardy. I don't know what more to say. Uh, another guy said he'll do a video. It's a TNA defender. <laughs> the same way, by the way, someone else is going to do a video on this TNA memes thing. By the way, this guy who's going to do the video didn't know who the champ was, and both these guys were asked to come on and defend fucking TNA during the Matt Hardy debacle and just disappeared. Yeah. I hope you guys get paid. I hope you guys get paid. Because, dude, nothing's more embarrassing than selling out to a corporation than fucking not get paid for. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, uh, Derek on the same fucking thing says, 
I was thinking that this morning. No one asked where the, are the WWE originals. Yes, they do. They just word it differently. And also, if there's an invasion. But yes, they talk about it all the time. They just word it differently. They say, what stars did the WWE make? What stars came through the WWE system? And not only that, but behind the scenes, yeah, they're, they're always talking about it. Matter of fact, ain't that a fucking storyline on NXT? The fuck? <sighs> well, no one talks about it. They talked about it all the time. Remember the WCW invasion? Am I, am I fucking old, or are we just making shit up now? Yeah, they talked about WWE Originals a lot. And not only that, but, you know, I hate to say this, because TNA fans are going to fucking downvote it, but go ahead. Dude, first off, to, to people that fucking just kiss ass to TNA fans because it gets some likes, comments, and subscribes, those same fans, if you ever talk bad about TNA, are going to leave you. So what's the point? You're going to have to kiss their ass forever? Good luck with that. Make your videos. Um... But yeah, no one asks where the WWE originals. Yeah, they do. But they word it different. And they also say former WWE guys. Saying former WWE guys is the same thing as saying originals. <laughs> you know? You have a lot. Matter of fact, DNA probably has more WWE originals than WWE does at this fucking point. It's just crazy. D do we not fucking remember the ECW invasion? No, we don't. We don't fucking remember WCW invasion? No, we don't. Now, granted, they weren't booked the best, I assure you. But. <laughs> But still, and here's the thing too, just like New Japan, just like Ring of Honor, just like WWE, they have pride in their company. Now granted, ROH and New Japan have pride in pro wrestling, WWE and TNA do not, but unlike TNA, WWE has pride in their company. Why do you think when Sting comes along, he has to lose to a WWE guy? How come in the invasion, most of the main characters had to be WWE guys? Because they have pride, they have honor. Something TNA and TNA defenders lack. All right, so that's it. I'm hoping I can find Lucha Underground. I I hope this is my last TNA video. American Alucard, I love you, brother. I really do fucking love you. Don't tag me on TNA propaganda ever again. Like, comment, subscribe, TNA fans. Oh no, you're gonna unsubscribe. TNA's great. It's better than WWE. Fucking unbelievable. Selling out for nothing. Did I say like, comment, subscribe? <laughs> CocoSports.net, ProWrestling.me. With that, I am over. Bum, 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 bum.